um, most people, the highest they ever get is maybe to climb a tall hill or climb a mountain and look around or even get in an airplane and, and start to see what lies beyond the, the normal two dimensions, the, the surface of the world of normal life. Um, to have the opportunity to get as far away as we are here, and not only that, but to go around the world every 90 minutes. And you, you never saw it on, on stage while you were filming, um, but the view that they used to put in for us watching Star Trek of how the world looks out of uh, Sulu and Chekhov's windows there, that's how the world looks. It's an enormous, wonderful, rolling earth below us. But all you have to do is flip yourself upside down and suddenly the rest of the universe is right there uh, at your feet below you and that's where the, the engineer in me of course is, is very much thinking about the ship and, and how we got here and, and the problems and the difficulties but the human within me recognizes what we are in between we've gone from climbing a hill getting an airplane to now actually being right on the cusp of permanently leaving our planet to everything else that exists. And, and I feel uh, hugely connected to that. It, it's what it was inspired in me as a kid, and I've kind of directed my whole life. I became an engineer and a fighter pilot and a test pilot to try and gain the skills to maybe someday do this. And now I'm, I'm doing my absolute best to help people see that, to help us understand where we are kind of philosophically and historically in our increased human understanding of where we do lie in the universe. Th those are great big words for, for a, you know, a, a lab technician on a space station. But, I know. But I, but I definitely get a sense of that all the time. Uh, I, I, it's inspiring to hear. Let me go back to a moment. Uh, you've tested many airplanes. You, you've uh, been a test pilot, which is like the utmost of uh, 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 example of courage in that you're flying something uh, unknown and you don't know what characteristics it's going to have. How do you deal with the fear, at, which is also applicable to going up into space and then returning, which is perhaps even more fearful? Um, I, I read somewhere that uh, you always knew your lines whenever you had a job in, in the acting profession. I have tried to always know my lines whether it was as, as a fighter pilot or, or as an astronaut or as a test pilot. And, and the, way I, the way I deal with fear is I try to define what it is that's scaring me. And what I'm scared most of is not knowing what to do next. You know, to be uh, struck dumb on stage or to, to be uh, responsible for a vehicle and not know the right actions to take with my hands or with the spaceship. And so I spent almost my entire adult life making sure that, that I knew my lines, that, that 